Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. You ask me probably hundreds of times to make a ballet dancer doll, but I never had a clear vision of how she should look and what could be her special feature kinda. And last week when I was choosing dolls for my next repaints, I saw this Spectra doll and I've suddenly realized what kind of ballet dancer I want to make. I want to make a ghost ballerina. I got really inspired by her transparent feet and hands and by the chains around her hands. So let's start the transformation. And first I cut her hair off and then I remove her head with the help of my hair dryer. Using the tweezers, I remove the rest of her hair from the inside of her head and then I take pure acetone and remove her old makeup, together with her eyes and lips and everything. To reroot her hair, so first I color the hat with black acrylic paint because I don't want her white skull being seen through her new dark hair. her hair using a special rerouting tool, then I add tacky glue to the inside of her head and then I let it dry for at least 24 hours. Now let's take a grey pencil and sketch her eyes. I think I want to make her eyes a little bit half closed, it will fit her ghost nature. And I use like always Faber Castell Albert Durer watercolor pencil.
I also make her nostrils dark and then with soft pastels and with a piece of an eraser I sketch her eyebrows. And now let's contour her face. For the first layer I take such a very very light grey brown color pastels and I contour the eyelids, the sides of the nose, the area around her mouth and the sides of her face. And now I want to make her a little bit more depth. And for this I will use medium grey pastels and in the end I want her to have like a very very pale skin that looks almost see-through with a light grey tint with a touch of purple maybe in it. And then I add purple pastels, the main accents I do to her eyes and then I add a slightest touch of purple to the rest of her face.
know there should normally be no pink color in the ghost face, but I like so much making my dolls pretty that I just couldn't resist the impulse to add a touch of pink to her face. Who knows, maybe she has found the pink lipsticks in the master bedroom, for example, and she just wanted to make her pale face a little bit prettier. I take my pencils again and I start drawing her eyes. I want to make her eyes very very light grey, like they have almost no color at all. But of course I will need to repeat this layer two or three times to build up a nice coverage. And it will be quite a monochrome repaint today, I will mainly use different shades of grey, white, black and also purple pencils. Repeating the last step a couple of times when I'm happy with the color intensity of her eyes, I take a purple pencil and I draw the eye creases. And then I still add purple pastels on top of it. Also add a little bit of purple pastels to her lips and to her eyebrows. The next step is adding grey shadows to the white of her eyes. To highlight the area around her eyes I use a white pencil. Normally for my living doll so called, I use very light beige pencil, but this time for the dead girl white pencil will fit just perfectly. I 
I want to give my girl some extra glow, so I repeat all the highlighted areas with this silver pencil. Also keep working on her eyebrows, adding different shades and colors because this is the way to create pretty realistic eyebrows. With a black pencil I add contrast details to her eyes and I also draw the eye lines. To create a shadow from the upper lashes, I use a tiny bit of black pastels. And after a layer of shadows comes the last layer of highlights. And then to the most highlighted areas of her face, I still apply a touch of silver pastels. With a very sharp black pencil, I draw the bottom eyelashes. And then with white acrylic paint, I add highlights to her eyes. And now let's work on her body. First I sand it with nail buffers to remove the gloss from the surface. Then I clean it with an acetone-free nail polish remover. I spray it with three layers of Mr. Super Clear Sealum and then finally I apply the same colors pastels like I did for her face. 
except for the pink one, because we've decided that that pink on her face comes from a lipstick that she has found in the owner's room. So I don't think she would apply that pink to her body as well. So let's stick to the lipstick legend. <laughs> Then I put her head and the body back together with the help of my hair dryer again. And then I attach the fuzz lashes and add some glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And I think I still want to add tears to the corners of her eyes. Yeah, being a ghost is a sad business, guys. And then I still need to sign my doll. So let's move to her outfit now. I asked my mom to make a basic ballerina dress for this makeover because I want her to appear like a white cloud in the rooms of her old castle at night. And now I'm going to make it even more ghostly looking and for this I apply tacky glue to the top of the dress and cover it with a good layer of silver pastels. When the glue is dry, I cover the top with a layer of acrylic varnish and then I implant tiny holographic stars into it. The pastels will slightly crack under the layer of varnish and the dress will look a little bit vintage and the silver glitter with the stars will make it look really ghostly. And she also needs her tiny underwear, of course. And also, especially for this belly dancer, my mom has made such a super cute shoes using some special substance that my father has made following some tutorials on YouTube. So you can see how viral all the doll and YouTube thing is. And I still want to add some details to her story. Do you think she is just a poor young girl being trapped in the dark old rooms for centuries? Then look at her hands, I think she has something to hide. I want to make the bloody stains also a little bit ghostly, not just like some fresh acrylic paint. So first I make her hands looking like some bloody hell, and then I immediately wash the paint off with warm water. You see, now it looks pretty ghostly, if you can say so. And I want just to add some fresh blood to her fingers. And 
then next to the plastic chains on her wrists, I'll add also real chains to make the effect even stronger. And here is the final result of my work this week. I honestly think it's one of my coolest repaints ever. And I was entertained from the beginning till the end, adding all the time more and more details to her look and personality. And by the way, if you add some veil, she can perfectly play a role of a dead bride. I hope for you it was also fun following my mostly ghostly tutorial and I can't wait to hear what you think about it. So don't hesitate to write your opinion under this video because I absolutely can't wait to read them all. And of course don't forget to subscribe my channel to see my new repaints every week Friday and visit my Instagram page and see you already very soon in my new videos. Bye!